Todd, last weekend you were online with Graham Slider and Texas Prozac. It looks like that will be the case again tonight. Can you just talk about what that unit did and what we like about playing with those two? Yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously coming from a new team, everything's a little bit new. Um, you know, being, being fortunate enough to play that second game um, with guys like Cozy and uh, Slags, you know, um, they're great players. You know, they, I really feel like they, we all play off each other. Um, you know, our, our team is looking as us to a, as an energy line and somebody who can uh, create some um, energy for our team throughout a, an away game, which is always tough in a home bar. Uh, barn for them um, but you know what um, I thought we really clicked that game um, you know we were moving our feet we made plays um, kind of created offense for our team and um, I think at the same time we created momentum for our team throughout the game and um, I thought that we we really showed what we can do even it being my first regular season game and um, you know what I'm pretty pretty happy about how, how everything went and, um, it was great to be, be a part of the first team's two points you talked about this being a new team. You were in Bakersfield for a couple of years. When did you find out that you were no longer going to be in the Oilers organization? Yeah, so I actually was um, coming up to Toronto just for a weekend to get away, and um, I got a phone call from one of their head guys, and they're like, "You'd been uh, traded to Buffalo um, with Ryan McLeod," and I didn't really know too much about it. Um, my agent didn't know about it. My team in Bakersfield didn't know about it. So. It was, it was kind of um, a surprise to quite a few people, and even for myself, because you never really, um, you never really know what a trade's going to be um, offered for you. And you know what? I think at the end of the day, um, this is really the spot I, I needed to be for my career, and I, it was a place I really want to play. Um, you know, I'm a lot closer to home uh, for family and stuff like that. And to me, this is a hockey city, and um, they bleed hockey here. And um, I think a little bit out in California, it's not so much like that, but you know what, I'm, I'm very proud to be here, and uh, I'm really looking to take more strides in my career here. Have you enjoyed just getting basically a month of hockey under your belt in preseason and getting to be up there in Buffalo or in New Jersey? Yeah, I think it's it's definitely pretty cool to be wearing any any NHL team's jersey and so, uh, representing um, the team um, at the same time, I think. Now being sent down after those five weeks, I felt like um, you know being able to play in those three preseason games that not a lot of players are able to play in um, really built my confidence, and I think it really built our team confidence in a way. And um, you know, and I'm I'm really happy how everything kind of turned out throughout that the last few months. But um, you know, we have a really good team here, and we're we're a really confident group. This is going to be the first time these fans get to see you in person, with it being your home debut. For fans that haven't seen you, what kind of game does Ty Tulio bring? Yeah, I think um, for any fan watching, I think I bring a hard, energ energized game. Um, I've, um, I'm pretty hard nosed. I get to the dirty areas. You know, I'll play physical. Um, I could fight it if I have to protect a teammate, but at the same time, I I think I I create plays. I have an offensive side to myself that um, can really um, feed off of our high skill team here and. I think once I keep playing and showing the coaches and the team um, what I can do out here, then I think that they'll trust me more and more. I'll become more of a reliable player, and I'll be putting opportunities to, um, you know, showcase more and more every night. And I'm just trying to work myself up the chains right now. Well, I mean, when you're with a new team, you kind of maybe get a chance to hit a bit of a reset button or, or look back. What do you think the next step is for you in your career? The next thing you need to do right to, to take a step forward? Yeah, so I think for myself it would be um, just consistency. I think once you get to coming out of junior to here, that's probably one of the biggest things, and even from the jump from AHL to NHL because they're long seasons, they're grueling seasons, and they're, um, they're hard games each and every night, and you have to be ready to play your best top game every single night. And if you take a game off, somebody um, could be right behind you and taking your spot. So. I think consistency is a really big thing, but at the same time, I think if I just play my game and um, let the game come to me, um, I know that I'll make those plays, score the goals, and um, be an energized player for the team. Yeah. Okay, it's only been a few weeks, but you notice any difference yet between playing in the East versus the West? Um, honestly, not so much. I mean, definitely with the, with the travels a little different. You know, you're flying the most games out in the west and now it's here it's more uh, bus trips but it kind of brings a little nostalgia back from juniors when you're 
doing those long bus trips. I think um, those kind of build the bonds between um, myself and teammates and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I don't really think there's much of a difference between the two sides. Great job so far. Thank you. Cool.